Are you like me? Do you have tons of photos of flowers, but after a while they all start to look the same? They're pretty, but kind of boring, right? If so, not to worry. I have just the thing for you. I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your average flower picture into a work of art. You'll see me using Luminar Neo in the demonstration, but you can use Photoshop as well. All you need is a program that has layers capability. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, to remove the background and replace it with something different, we just go into Layer Properties. Again, you need to have this um, extension. And when you open up the masking, you'll see Background Removal AI. So it's right below Portrait Background. <clears throat> so we just run the Background Removal AI. It analyzes the image. And then it should find the flower because this is a really easy one to cut out, right? It's pretty cut and dry. The edges are nice and, and clean. If you have something with a person with, you know, fuzzy hair or complicated outlines, it's more difficult. Okay, so this is what's happened. So I'm going to remove the background. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do because it looks like there's a little um, part of the stem or the leaf down here. And I see how it's removed it. I was actually going to remove it on purpose because it was really distraction, distracting. Okay, so I'm just going to go in here and double check the refinement brush. See how it removed it? I'm actually okay with that. Okay, so I'm just going to refine this edge a little bit because it looks like it's kind of missed the edge of the flower. So I want to get that. I want to get that right there. But it did pretty good everywhere else. So when we check it, we just close the refinement brush panel. And when you see the squares pattern, okay, that's just the translucent part. That means that's translucent. And I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to zoom in here because this part here, I'm going to actually tell it it's the background instead because <clears throat> I think it's another leaf. And it should find the edge. Okay, so it, you're training Luminar to find the edge of this thing, okay? And I'm going to go with the transition brush and just go around this edge here. Okay, so the transition brush, you're telling it, I'm overlapping the edge of the subject. When you're painting, okay, see how it has now found the edge better? Okay. So I'm happy with that. Now we can just add a new image. So if we want to add bokeh, we can do that. Uh, did we have one that was kind of pink? Yeah, we've got some pink bokeh. I think I'm going to go with a different one on this one. Let's go with this one. Okay, so now we want the blend mode normal at 100%. And then we just have to drag this layer down below the flower and it becomes the background. <coughs> Okay, now you can see that the edge of the flower is showing up a little bit white, and that's fine. Um, all we need to do is a couple of different options, right? We could go into the flower here and actually change the blend mode of the flower, right? And I don't know if that's going to work. No, that's not going to work. We just have to do the mask a little bit better. I would just go around the edge with the transition brush and get rid of that little halo, right? But now that we've got this added as the background, you can do whatever you want with it, changing the color and so on, okay? If we want a different background, um, this one actually might be cool. I've got some of these Morocco backgrounds. Here, check this out. Um, this one here was like an old wall um, with some Arabic writing on it. And I just thought it was cool. Oops. Oh, I removed it by accident. Let's find it again. Uh, there it is. Capacity 100. And I'm just going to move the rows up on top. Yeah, I like that better. So now we have that on top. 
It scales a little bit off. Um, what I might do is actually resize the rows, maybe something like this. And I might add a texture or something over top. But this one here with the with this um, Arabic writing, I've done it on top of some things as an overlay, and it actually works out really cool. I've also got some other ones which are neat with some tiles. All right, this one here is actually a tile floor or mosaic floor in Morocco. And that one's kind of cool too, okay? So we can actually use them together, right? If I want to change this one to, oops, I'm on the wrong layer. Let's change this one to overlay. And let's change this one to normal. We can even lower the opacity of this one. So we can get really creative. See how the two are sort of blending together now? Now we've got some Arabic writing on top of the floor. And we've got something completely different. See? Maybe let's make the rows back to normal size. So I'm just resizing this layer. There we go. I've been inclined to put a texture over top or maybe move this one. There we go. That's better. See, as soon as I move that on top of the rows, now it makes more sense. Right? And I would also maybe adjust the color and apply a lot here. Um, something to give it sort of more of a sepia tone look, an old look. There we go. Okay, so now we just have a art piece. Okay, so we went from a boring rose on a white background to something that's artistic. If you enjoy my teaching style and you want more step-by-step -step instructions to learn the software, check out Luminar Neo, the complete course. You'll find a link to it in the pinned comment below. Click either of the videos on the screen now to watch more photo editing tutorials using Luminar Neo, Lightroom, and Photoshop.